hello everyone so today i will explain how can we like generate jp entity from database tables as we know for many projects we can use jp entity for faster development whenever we are going to develop any project so maybe we need to create lots of entity based on the project needs right maybe we are keen to media medium size of project so then little bit lesser entity is needed but if you are going to very enterprise kind of application then we need to generate lots of entity or database tables so suppose if we are creating any project from the scratch then we need to create those entities like which are which tables actually we have created into the database so if you are going to create those entities into the like project any enterprise application do we need to create those manually right even there in certain scenarios also like maybe if we uh, if there is a tables multiple tables having the joins right the like foreign key they are supposed to different types of constant so those kind of joins also we need to define manually means we need to think about those relationship between those table and then we need to accordingly we need to map those relationship into the entities like many to one one to many one to one many to many right those kind of ma mapping we need to manually put into this entity but before that we also need to think about like how mm, the relationship is behaving means what kind of relationship we need to put but particular field so those kind of things actually take lot of time right so just to reduce those time and uh, like uh, means also we need to we need to don't need to handle those kind of complexities we can easily create those entities into our project with this uh, tool so if we are going to use like eclipse uh, then it will automatically like those jpa tools kind of uh, plugin already come if you not aware of it then from the eclipse marketplace or uh, from there or maybe you are using the I, I, intellij from their workspace we can easily import those plugin and based on that we can generate those entity right so in the means in next like i will uh, show you one example and also i will create one uh, means like uh, schema and from there i will uh, i will create uh, two three tables which having the mapping between means relationship between the tables like uh, for example if we are having the user tables and this particular user table having uh, uh, different types of role or in which company this particular user is belongs to so uh, that means user is having the relationship with the like uh, for uh, um, uh, there is a one table is role another one is the company so those mapping is automatically how it is automatically done so those kind of thing i will give one uh, means i have, i'll create one project and from there how can we generate the entity dynamically without uh, like doing any kind of the manual efforts so how means how this can be reduce the time uh, reduce the time for the development right so let's check the example so for creating this uh, like in jp entities from database table so what we need to do first step like we need to create a one jpa project okay so in this jpa project actually we are going to create those jpa entity right so that's why we need to create this one and so before creating the entity okay let's let's create this one so create a jpa entity so like generate entity generate jpa entity for example the project name is pn okay so here target none time it's not needed jpa version 2.2 configuration okay do next here do next here actually we need to add the connection okay so as you can see it's actually list out all means uh, most of the dbs so from here you can choose whatever dbs you have like in your case like it's a db2 or maybe darby jendik jdbc so from here we can choose maybe the jendik jdbc then like mysql oracle postgres sql server sql right so it's it shows us list of uh, dbs option right so for my case i have used the mysql database so let's select this mysql and then from here actually we need to provide the database details so for me i have used a mysql so i have created already one schema like a generate underscore entity and i have tried to like create three tables so that i can from using this uh, creating these three tables i will demonstrate like how the tables are after converting it will look like and also like i will try, I, I already tried to cover like how the mapping will look like 
for example yeah, so here actually i have created three tables one is the mst underscore user mst underscore company and the mst underscore role and this particular user having the associated with this role id and also the company id so this company id actually is the foreign key of the mst company table and this role id is the, um, like uh, foreign key of the role mst underscore role table so i have created these three tables so that it will uh, means i will demonstrate from this one now let's uh, here actually we need to like provide this database uh, generate so i need to provide the schema name from here so this is the schema name like generate underscore entity right so here actually means here in, instead of the database i need to provide this one and here we need to provide the username and the password so whatever the username you are having whatever username you are having so that you need to provide here and then you need to provide the password whatever the password you are having so in your case maybe if it is not mysql if it is a oracle then it will be just little bit of defined over here now let's check the connection if it is okay ping succeeded means whatever the information we have provided over here those are correct then after filling those information we need to do next then finish then do finish so that means the uh, like project jpa project creation is done right next what do we need to do once we click here then from here we will get one option like jpa tools so it will show us three options move to xml we don't need this one the next two is generate tables from entities and the other one is the generate entities from tables so we need to like select this one as we are going to generate entities from the tables right so click this one after clicking one so as you can see it's already like schema is already pre-populated right and it will also list out which tables are created under this particular schema so suppose if you are going to like first time create your enterprise application it's having a 100 or 200 kind of tables so it will list out all the entities over here so from there you can choose all the tables like here also you can choose or maybe if any out of 100 only if you need the five tables that also you can choose so the there may be two situation one is you are like initially first create uh, uh, just trying to create uh, your entity for the first time means you are creating the project from the scratch then you need to create all the entities maybe there are there are two three tables which are not needed so that you can deselect from here but suppose if it is needed the all then you can like choose all the things but now now suppose let's take another example suppose if you are trying to like um, like uh, so uh, like if you are uh, generated uh, like suppose if we are trying to add any functionalities into the existing project and maybe for adding this functionality we need five or ten ten tables maybe we need five or ten tables so uh, like in this scenarios it will list out all the tables but out of this we need to select only five or ten which are related to the new ones so that can also be possible from here so let's create this uh, select these three tables so after this it will show us the mapping of those tables means relationship between those tables so that's why it's taking little time something like this one so as i was showing here this particular user table having the relationship with this mst company because this company id is we need to add it in the mst user same for role id also we have added that's why it's showing the relationship here right we can also add another one like if we need to add another mapping which is not showing over here uh, so that's also we can add from there like table one so if you select this one you, you can from there you can choose this one and from here also you can choose this one so we can also like add over here now suppose if we do, uh, suppose if we want to remove something so that also may be possible from here so if you select this one then you can see like what kind of join it is like table join means from which column it is actually it's trying to join so, so like mst user company id with this company to company id same for this one they like role id as we are defining over here <coughs> and this is like the user table so after this that means it's showing all the details over here so from here we can modify add means we can do something operations from here so after this uh, it's showing also cascading so it's also like uh, sometimes we need to do something like cascading operations like if we are trying to remove some operations from this uh, user table then it will also remove some data from the other table so those kinds of also we can modify but i'm for the timing i'm not doing those kind of things just do next 
so here actually it asking for the key generator so in the table as you can see this id is a auto increment that means this id should generate automatically so that's why we need to mention it as a key generator so it's also provide a multiple option like auto auto we can do identity sequence table none so we are also provide the auto if we are going to provide the sequence then we need to provide the sequence name then entity access is a field level then association fetch association fetch so like uh, it's uh, providing the default one so here the default you can also update means uh, we can opt to customize this one either eager or with lazy eager we are not going to do because it will down the performance because whenever it will actually load the data then it will fetch all the data from the child table but in our case we don't need this one so that's why i'm pointing this one as a lazy and then the collection properties it's a set instead of set we are using the list so once this is done then please do the next so uh, that means is that done and then do finish so it will take some time for generating those tables uh, like mapping uh, creating those jp tables now it is done so here actually you can see all the details now it will generate some extra things obviously like uh, you can see that we have choose the auto generation type uh, for the id so this is this is the auto right if we choose the identity then it will give us for the identity why it is showing red compilation issues because i am not using any kind of the jp related um, jar files over here this is that's why it's showing this red if if because we are just using this particular project just to just generate the jp entity once this is done then we'll just copy those entities into the real project right so you can see it's a mapping with the column and then yeah this is uh, the thing like uh, the one too many if you go over here in the user table you can see like this two mst company and roles is having the join column and the many to one because this particular is having single company and the single role so that's why is the many to one in your case it can be list of like one to many options as we are having for them come uh, because in the single company multiple user can belong right so this, this is the like thing that uh, that's why it's a list of user and that's why it's a one to many but here it's a many to one means one uh, user can have the one company and same for this also mst role and also like we can also remove the getter setter and it is generated uh, because if we are going to use the getter set uh, lombok then to, uh, just to clean up this uh, class we can do also same the thing like uh, we can just remove this one so that it will look very clean right so okay so and also you can like remove the named query if you are not going to use because sometimes what do we do we are going to use the jpa repository so that's why we don't need this one named query so that also you can remove from over here so this is like overall think like how it is generated the jp entity from the database we just only do the mapping all the things as i so in the earlier step we need to do follow some steps to generate this one and also it is like uh, provide us all the things as uh, i was saying this is a face tab is lazy it's mentioned right if you're not defining it will take the default if it is eager then also you can change from here also so that means this particular tool is very useful and uh, like uh, using this uh, like how we can do that uh, like from the eclipse marketplace like we can go over here and from there you will like just search the jpa so it will list out all the jp related things so like jpa tools is a one things like from there we can do things if you are install the eclipse latest version so it will include all the things you don't need to uh, like uh, like add those plugin but if it is old then uh, from here you can uh, like add those uh, uh, plugin from here uh, because like it will uh, uh, it, even there uh, not only jpa even there uh, some other tools also plugins also available from there also you can like uh, uh, choose those things like uh, like let me search one jpa tools okay if you search uh, if you search from here then it will list out all the related uh, jpa related tools from over here like telosis is a one tool from this tool also you can generate this g9 modeling tool this is also one of the tool using this tool also you can uh, generate those things this little bit of step is different but the the thing is the same I mean, so this is the thing so already i have installed this jpa tool so that's why it's uh, like already is uh, it's already like in the eclipse is already available if you are use the latest version of the eclipse then it's you can you don't need to do anything it will automatically give us uh, all the things so this is all about those things so that's all actually for like how we are going to generate the jp entity from database table dynamically 
if you are guys having anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye